What's going down, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my channel, Couch with Reno. This is your fellow Paisano speaking. And let's take care of business. As always, put a like and subscribe. There's going to be Juventus news and, of course, the Mercado. As we all know, the Mercado is always a crazy time of the year. Because from now until August when it ends, because officially it's going to start on, on July when they can start selling, uh, buying. But all these names are coming around. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. The are fish are going to come. Ah, this Mercado. Man, it's not just with Juventus. Even with Inter, the one thing, and another, all the teams. We just got to wait and see. But I bring what I hear, what my sources says, and, and let's talk about it, shall we? Before we get into Mercado, let's go a little bit to Juventus news. Mr. Andrea Agnella, the ex-president, let's say, of Juventus, he went to appeal to the TAR that that went against him for the Plus Valencia case. So, because technically, Juventus, uh, it, they didn't do anything wrong. But Elkan cleaned his hands and he wanted to, to solve the case by paying the, the fine and everything. Which I like, and yet it did say that he was gonna go. So, and that's what he's doing. So we'll see what. We're, like I'm not saying after that, and yet is gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna get back to ten points whatsoever. Anything can happen. I'm taking it baby steps at a time because already people seeing. Oh, we're gonna get back to ten points. This and that. Let's become, ladies and gentlemen, because you know I'm not a big fan of uh, Agnelli, but in this case he has a big mouth. He's an alpha male, not like a joke, John Elkan. Like I said, he just likes to clean his hands. So he's going to fight until what is right. But unfortunately, in Italy, you never win. And especially if you're Juventus, they always will attack you no matter what. So let's hope that Mr. Uh, Agnelli over here can do something about it. Now, another rumor has been followed. That Mr. Jundley, today he wasn't at the representation of the new coach of Napoli, Rudy Garza. What does this mean? This means maybe soon, or hopefully soon, that he'll come to Juventus. Because let's face it, guys, Jundley did not do anything wrong with the horrendous. He said he wanted, he, he, he's been there for eight years. This that he was nice enough to tell him that he was going to go to. Um, Juventus and this guy's trying to find his way, not, not to let him go, but somehow, some way, Mr. Junto is coming. Because what I heard last week, Junto, after it's official, he will complain to the FGG so he can start working right away on July. Which I think underneath he's still working under Manna, which Manna is doing a wonderful job. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully for the better, because you know me. I really want Junzi because we need a good director sportivo if we want to move on to see the team going better. In regards of Mercado News, Juventus just today we find out that uh, Lats is offering to Juventus 40 million, which Menico Vesage said yes, but there's even Inter in the mix. This is fun. Between Inter and uh, Juventus, there's always something. You know, like what happened to Bremer, that we close the deal now with Milinko Vesavich. I only hope that we get Milinko Vesavich. I know that we've been hearing for years it's better to move on with other new names, but hey, ragazzi, this is Juventus. They're old school. They like to keep with their old minded. They want to take close the deal with uh, Milinko Vesavich. Why not? He's 29 years old. I don't mind Fratesi, but at the end of the day, Dealing with Sassuolo, waiting for months, like what happened to Locate, then what? If Alec is going to stay, <laughs> he's going to be a Brocco like uh, uh, Locate because Alec with his young players, zero. And I keep on saying it. But as me with, Havana, with Savage, he's going to do a great job. But we'll wait and see if he's going to come. Then there, there's still this name going around with the attack in that position because we know that uh, Vavo, which is. For, let's say 90% is going to Byron. Now, listen today, for the thousandth time, I hear Icardi. 
Like I've been here in the Skype for years. I remember two years ago from last year, two years ago, me and my buddy saying, we need the card, we need the card. Now we don't care and we bring this guy back. Like, come on. You really want a cardi? Then you have to deal with his wife's mess, whatever. As I said, uh, no such thing as new ideas, which I hope that Junda comes in time and fix these problems. So we'll see. If he comes, I don't know. Then regards with Keza, it's true that he said yesterday after the game of Italy that uh, he, he can't wait to, to come back and uh, get the job done with the boys. But what I'm hearing from everybody, as we can see, uh, the conflict between Keza and Mr. Allegri, because either Keza leaves or Allegri leaves. Because uh, they, they're, they're both hearted, which I don't blame Keza. Because, you know, the guy puts in the wrong position and, you know, it's not easy to deal with that lately. But uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I hope he stays, Keza. Then in regards with that lately, I have no idea. There's so many rumors with this. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. You're not going to hear from me saying much. Like, if he stays, if he doesn't, me personally, I don't care. But the problem with that lately, he had his chance with Saudi. And uh, PSG, but the Saudi cancel. You know why? Because he doesn't want to look at himself as being a loser. Because for him to go to Saudi, comprende? And now winning with Juventus by leaving, because Saudi is not a big competition, his, his, his obsession is to stay with Juventus. Uh, he wants to win, to prove everybody wrong. Is he doing the right thing? I think he's doing the wrong thing. Like me and thousands of people, it is a big mistake for him to come because you got the, the fans against you. La Sociedad is even against you. They're finding their way to kick you up, but you don't want to leave. The, f uh, the players are against you. You ask me if he has Le Palle to uh, stay with Juventus with this pressure. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I believe that this guy is going to stay. Okay, even though rumors are saying that he might leave, this and that, I have a feeling he's going to stay because I clean my hands. Like if he's going to leave by July because June to come, hey, pazienza. But then if he's going to leave on December, like I said, there's going to be a big uh, war if December Allegri doesn't bring the results, which I find it hard because with the players that they're bringing, it is not for Allegri. Because we know, know he needs the top players. Because uh, John Elkan and company said to him, you want to stay? You better keep us the fourth position or else you're out. So I think it's going to be one more year suffer. Let's hope not. And we'll wait and see. This is all it, my fellow paisans. We'll stay tuned for more uh, news. Of course, Mercado action on your way. And... We'll keep in touch as soon as possible. Ciao, ciao. Era vederci.